Hello learners, NIOS welcomes you to painting subject video series. This is lesson number 18, composition. Part 1. We will divide the lesson in the following steps. First, we have the background and understanding about composition. Then we'll have new words from the lesson. Then description about the various styles of composition. So first will be the still life composition. Then the description about landscape composition. Then description about illustration. And then we have description about abstract composition, the summary, and then the questions and answers. What is composition? In visual arts, we have six elements of design. First is line. Second is the shape. Third is the form. Fourth is space. Fifth is color. And finally, texture. The arrangement of these elements is what is called composition. The elements of design can be explained as such line. Line is actually a mark which is greater in length than the width. So if you have a vertical line, the length is always more than the width. That is why it is called a line. Lines can be of various kinds. It could be horizontal, then vertical. It can be curved or it can be straight. It could be thick or it could be thin. Shape is a closed line and within that line, you can see the length and the width. Next is form. Form is the organic expression of the artist's idea and the message. For example, still life, you have a jar, you have fruits and other things. There would be light and the play of shadow. In landscape, in a natural environment, would also have a lot of elements. Even in the illustration, there would be the aspiration of the artist. So the various kind of compositions have their own form, which is the depiction of the expression of the artist's idea, what they want to represent or what the message is. Then we have space. Space 
is the area between and around objects. So in a still life painting, if you have the fruits, you have a triangular shaped object. In between these objects, there would be space, which is called the negative space. Then we have color. Using the same example of a still life composition, you have fruits, various kind of fruits, and then the light which is reflected on these models or these objects is reflected. And you can see the play of light and shadow. Color has three main characteristics. First, when any object reflects a kind of color, this color has a name which is called a hue or name. After that is the value which is how light or how dark the color is. Then we have the intensity. Intensity is the measure of the brightness or the dullness of the light. And then we have texture. Texture is the surface quality of various kind of surfaces, could be the wall, could be the floor, etc. And this quality can be seen and felt. It can be rough or it can be smooth. Or it can be soft or it can be hard. That is what is texture. Next we have the six principles of composition. First we have unity. In a work of art, this work in front of you, which we have the bullfight, you would see there is a kind of unity. They have ensured that both the bulls are standing on some form of a ground. There is nothing conflicting here and there is sense of unity in this artwork. Second, balance. That is, there is balance in the painting in terms of the size and shape of the figures. Very lifelike and realistic depiction. So balance in terms of the depiction. Third is harmony. In a work of art, you see there are two bulls here and there is harmony in terms of the depiction which is realistic. Then you have the contrast. Contrast is both the animals are depicted in different colors, which is in fact the reality. Fifth is emphasis. Emphasis is the importance. You would see the aggression of the bulls, the nostrils are flared, the horns are locked. That is what is the main intention of this painting. So the emphasis is on the main characters of the bulls. And then we have repetition. Repetition is, as you see the border, the lower border, the flower motif has been repeated. That is called repetition. These are the six principles of composition. Unity, balance, harmony, contrast, emphasis and repetition. New words from the lesson. The word ingredient or elements or parts. So in painting, like you have the elements, line, shape, form, space, color, etc., which are arranged in a composition. And similarly, 
food also have ingredients conscious which is a sense of understanding decode is to figure out or solve horizontal is something which is lying flat vertical is something which is upright contrast is the kind of oppositeness so you can see the barbed wire and a flower in between so both elements depict opposite things so that is the contrast emphasis is the importance in a work of art when specific focus the light and the color even the shape and the size is altered and lengthened for example the painting on the side the illustration akbar crossing the ganges the emperor is bigger the elephant is much bigger that is emphasis featuring or promoting you see in the picture education of the girl child is being promoted or that is what is featured in artwork the artist's message what they are trying to portray what they are trying to feature identifiable or traceable something which is clearly understandable resonance is a kind of help which uh, according to this painting you see the fruits are kept on a plate which is blue in color the color blue actually helps the fruits to resonate or vibrate that is glow static actually means motionless so if you have a tree where there is no air it is motionless or static meadows are grassy lands inherited means to get by succession so upon the death of the previous generation we inherit things from for example our parents the things which they used their diaries their pen precious items upon their death it comes to their children this is what is inherited or succession sympathetically is to feel sympathy or feel a kind of kindness for the other person inclined is bent plank is a long flat thin piece of wood you saw in the painting the plate of fruits was placed on a plank manufactured it is man made for example fruits vegetables are they man made no they are natural but there are things which are man made still life is an artwork which represents inanimate objects these models these items these objects are inanimate that means they are not moving and the artwork which depicts this is called still life illustration illustration are ideas in visual medium 
which help communicate an idea or help express an idea. Landscape is an artwork which represents nature or a natural scenery. Abstract art, this is artwork which alters the shape, color and form. Example, if a human being is depicted with the entire form very different, very altered, which the artist is actually improvising. So, for example, the tortoise is a creature living in water, but again, if you start showing the creature in air with wings, it, it is altering the form. And this kind of work is called abstract art. I hope you enjoyed watching part one of the lesson. If you have any queries, please email us at signlanguage at the rate nios.ac.in. For more information, you may visit our website www.nios.ac.in. Thank you.